Hi Pisces and welcome to your daily reading. Hope you're doing well. Let's see what we got going on for you. Whenever you come across this video, what that day may be about for you or the guidance that you need most at that time. What well, that could be for you. Thank you for being here for your likes, your shares, your comments and your feedback. Greatly appreciated as always. Thank you for subscribing and helping grow our community and get the messages out there. And special thanks to my members. I really appreciate the extra support. And for my members, check out your week ahead. It's currently being posted on the channel. All right, okay. Ooh, the lovers flew out. And the king of swords. Ooh. Focus on a Gemini this week. Or a choice to do with an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius or a commitment being made um, and it's made official. If it doesn't involve an air sign, it usually talks about legalities, um, contracts being signed, negotiations happening. Oh, all right, we'll take it. Let's see what's going on for Pisces at the time they find this video with the daily energy and advice is for Pisces placements. Wherever you have Pisces in your chart, this could resonate. All right. Cool. And for those of you who want to know, this is the Edgar Allan Poe Tarot. Okay. Clarifiers. And off we go. Okay, so let's see what we got going on for Pisces placements. Bottom of the deck, we have the Queen of Swords now. So again, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy could be significant. Um, a focus on legalities and contracts, paperwork, documentation, dealing with the law somehow. Um, this could also talk about some form of ending um, that's being made official for whatever reason, if it's breakup, if it's divorce. If it's you handing in your notice, your resignation, if it's um, giving someone notice that you're leaving or you're moving out, we'll see. Could also just be a focus on paperwork documentation, making sure the information is correct before you submit something, etc. All right. So current situation, we have strength, Leo energy, with the four of wands. All right. Strength with the Four of Wands, it talks about a solid position. Not necessarily holding your ground and then fighting for something or fighting to defend something, but rather putting measures in place so that your peace is not disturbed. Um, protecting your peace, protecting the harmony of the home, protecting um, the harmony of the family. This could also be solidifying a relationship by changing your status, making it official, however that resonates. Could also look, be looking at security for the home or job security or relationship security. That could be a focus. And the challenge, well, here we go. We have the lovers again and the three of pentacles. And the challenge is, well, a choice needs to be made. Okay, this can talk about third parties um, for some of you and that's not always another person for some of you it can be being at a crossroads and you have to choose which investment which relationship you're going to invest in to take it further if you're dating multiple people right it's come to the point where you have to pick one um, or someone's telling you you have to pick one it can be you know someone trying to give you a bit of an ultimatum for others of you though this can be um, and remember the roles can be reversed always for others of you though it can be a situation where the choice is whether or not to leave a group, whether or not to leave a dynamic, whether or not to leave a community and venture off, do something on your own. Um, whether that means, you know, changing a club, an association, changing jobs, work environments, um, changing residence and leaving behind a community. There could be some sort of either tension 
um, or a bit of an ultimatum, whether it's expressed or it's perceived, to do with, are we doing this or not? Okay, so it's time to make a commitment. It's time to make something official, whether that's about a romantic relationship or it's about a work situation or going into business with someone or moving in together or um, joining forces, collaborating with someone, uh, being associated with someone or something. There is that energy of, are we doing this or not? Okay. On the mind, they have the chariot and the ace of wands. Yeah, cancer energy. But this is like, okay, I'm ready to go. I'm ready to go. Are you coming with me or am I doing this by myself? For others of you, this is a green light. This is a victory, a triumph when it comes to the new path you've been trying to create for yourself. If it's that new job, if it's that promotion, if it's getting that car, if it's upgrading something in your life, if it's starting a relationship, taking a commitment further, um, getting that home, changing your living situation, whatever this is for you, this is, I'm ready to go. You either come with me or get out of my way. I do get that energy. Let's see in the foundation what everything's about. We have the five of pentacles and the four of pentacles. Yeah, I feel like with the challenge being the three of pentacles, it's like, are we doing this or are we not doing this? Because someone's been dealing with fear, doubt, insecurity, holding back, um, fear of change, fear of loss, um, fear of failure. And if this is you, then this is where you're going, okay, well, I'm just going to get a grip. I'm just going to get over it and I'm going to go through with something, right? Um, it could also be with the four of pentacles that you have come into a place of you've reached a milestone. You told yourself when I get to this point, I'm going to just go for it and whatever happens, happens. And that's what you're doing. You've saved enough money. You're just going to go for it. Apply for the thing, buy the thing, invest in the thing, whatever it is. You have completed that training program or course or whatever it is and it's like okay well i've got no excuse now i'm just going to go for it i'm going to apply it i'm going to apply for that better job i'm going to apply for that promotion i'm going to ask for that raise because i'm i've been working on my confidence and i'm i've come into a place where i'm feeling stable i'm feeling confident cherry on the mind right um it could also be again are we doing this or not one party's ready to go and like Commit, invest, take something further, make it known, make it official. And the other party might have been teeter-tottering. They might have been dealing with a lot of fears and insecurities and doubts and, and, and kind of having, not having both feet in the situation. One foot in and one foot out, right? So with the Three of Pentacles, if it's a one-to-one -one dynamic and it doesn't involve another person or someone else's family or someone's job that's taking over and really just taking their focus where they should be giving the focus to the relationship or the family, whatever, um, then this is someone's doubts, someone's fears, someone's insecurities that are that third party impacting the dynamic, right? Okay. In the recent past, we have the Six of Swords and the Three of Swords. So in the recent past, there may have been an ultimatum. There may have been an ultimatum. There may have been, okay, I think we should just not see each other for a couple of days and both figure out what, what we want to do because it's time to make a commitment and we're either going to make it or we're not. And if we're not making it, then we just need to go our separate ways because this is a waste of time. And um, that's what's happened recently. Or there might have been an actual breakup. There might have been an actual separation. There might have been a trial separation that was agreed. Some distance has been put between you and the other person, the other party. Or for others of you, this is where you have been working on yourself and healing and recovering from a broken heart, from a disappointment or a series of disappointments. And you've now regained that strength, that sense of confidence and stability. And now you're going to just put yourself out there, pursue whatever it is you want to pursue, etc. Right? However this resonates. All right, so let's see what else is going to happen here. We have the Five of Wands. Oh, boy, oh, boy. Temperance. Well, that's a good indication. And the Knight of Cups. All right. Okay, Pisces. Okay. Okay. All right. 
So this is where not being on the same page with the Five of Wands is finally being balanced out with Temperance and the Knight of Cups. Someone's saying, okay, let's do this. I'm ready. Someone's meeting you in the middle. That's Temperance energy. Someone's meeting you in the middle. Someone's doing their part. 50-50. Um, let's talk about it. Let's come together. Let's create this new thing. Let's invest in the new thing, right? Knight of Cups, some sort of offer, proposal. Not holding back anymore. Not afraid anymore. Or if they are afraid, they're just taking a deep breath and going, I'm, I'm just going to have to do this because I want to do this with Pisces. I don't want to lose Pisces. I don't want to lose the contract. I don't want to lose the relationship. I don't want to lose what we have. So someone's coming to terms with their fears, their doubts, or their insecurities, but not letting them stop this from progressing. Okay, Pisces. That's good. Let's see what else. Five of Swords and the Ace of Pentacles. Yeah, this is someone now determined to build, to invest, to be more stable, to be more consistent, to be more reliable. For those of you, this is, you're pursuing this thing, this change in your life, this thing you're trying to create, if it's a job, if it's getting your business off the ground, if it's reaching a personal goal, if it's getting the new home, if it's cutting ties with anything that's toxic, anything that's unhealthy, that has been your single focus and it's paying off for you. And you're investing in something new. It's the Wands, it's the Pentacles. Cutting out everything that's not important, cutting out everything that's unhealthy and investing in this new thing for yourself. So you get the job, you get the home. And it's like, okay, well, that's it. I'm going to tell these people where I live and I'm not going to tell these people where I live because they're not coming with me. I'm cutting them out of my life. I'm cutting this out of my life. I'm just going to focus on this because this is solid. This is healthy. This is reliable in my life, right? And the hermit. And the hermit is finding calm and peace in solitude or calm and peace within yourself regardless of your environment the environment is ever changing but you're finding calm and peace wisdom strength within yourself this is uh, Virgo energy this could also talk about now you step into um, a time of learning of growth and development of going deeper into something so whatever the, the commitment is that was looking to be made here and you, you were not on the same page with someone, it's going deeper, okay, in a solid way, in a healthy way, 50-50, everyone's doing what they're supposed to be doing. If there have been external parties influencing something or someone and preventing this commitment from going deeper or being made official, that is what is being cut out, okay, Because either there has been an ultimatum and someone's had a bit of a wake-up call or there has been a difficult conversation, not necessarily a threat, but just to, just to let you know, if this doesn't happen, I'm out by this point, okay? Or there has actually been a conflict, an argument, a fight um, because it's like I'm not, I can't wait any longer. I'm not waiting any longer. You should know by now. You should have figured it out by now. You should have done this by now, right? That kind of situation. Or if there has been any sort of distance, any sort of, whether it's, you know, because of a separation, because of a breakup, because of an argument, and just kind of going in your separate corners, or distance in the sense that you took your hands off the situation, you stopped pursuing, you stopped investing, you withdrew from it, and it gave that person the wake-up call. It gave that person the nudge of, hold on, I don't really want to, I'm afraid. This could be someone who's afraid of commitment because they got burnt in the past, burnt bad. So they're afraid of commitment, but at the same time, they don't want to lose you. You've been giving them time and grace to kind of work through things for themselves. And, and you have shown that this is worth the investment and it's worth the commitment. And it's not unhealthy like they may have had in the past, whatever the, the situation is. This is someone who's finally saying, 
I want the in the past it was I want the relationship with Pisces and this is the fear of commitment and the fear of commitment weighed more okay it had a deeper impact on them and their decisions as a result of whatever this was here the fear of commitment might still be there but they are afraid of losing the relationship the contract the partnership more than they are afraid of making a commitment you see what I mean and so now they're stepping over that fear they're still working with it dealing with it but they're not letting the fear cost them this all right if it's internal and it doesn't involve someone else this is a fear of failure or a fear of rejection and this is where you're going this is a really good opportunity I'm not gonna let it pass me by and you're overcoming the fear the fear is still there but it's slowly having less and less impact on your decisions and what you're going for what you're pursuing or what you're putting yourself um, into right If this is like competition process, you're a strong candidate. You may have been um, dissatisfied in your current situation or your previous situation for quite some time. You've been looking for ways out to, to get out. You've been looking for ways to get to better shores, right? Better, better job, a better place to live, better pay, better perks, just an easier life somehow, right? Um, a situation where you can work less and be paid more or you can work less for what you're paid and stuff like that, right? And you have again overcome some sort of fear recently and applied yourself applied for something you're being chosen so there's an offer coming your way there's an invitation there's a contract there's an opportunity presented to you it will take you out of your comfort zone it will take you away from people places you're familiar with and that has been a challenge in itself however this is too good of an opportunity for you to pass up. And it is, you are going to, with the hermit, step away from a team, a group, a community, routines that have given you comfort and pursue and invest in this new, big, bold, reliable, beautiful opportunity, whatever it may be for you. All right. That's pretty cool, Pisces. So there is some sort of breakthrough here. Some sort of breakthrough and a commitment finally being made. A stable, balanced, healthy, mutual commitment. All right, let's see. Oracle Energy and Advice for Pisces. And it kind of ties in with the reading that we did for the collective. For the week ahead that's linked in the description box for you for you all right one sec okay sorry for the interruption all right so let's see what else we have look at the bottom of the deck we have 29 broken branch heartache so there's definitely something that happened here okay heartache and the three swords yeah um with this card though it's again it's an energy of cutting off dead branches in order for the healthy part of the tree to grow um, healthier and stronger okay so I feel like for um, those of you where this applies where this resonates th that was the focus you know we're either going to move forward with this and move to the next natural level and if we're not then this is becoming a toxic thing this is becoming a stagnant thing this is becoming a waste of time a waste of resources and it's going to get chopped off okay that's the bottom line seasons of the witch 28 honoring cycles yeah this is like again whatever the situation is it reached a point where it's like okay now it's time to move to the next level whatever that is and someone has been doubting fearing hesitating holding back whatever it is again it could be involving another person or it could just be you within yourself and where you are um it's time to move on it's time to move forward right we're either moving forward or we're moving on separately but there's movement that has to happen there's a change in the cycle that has to happen right we're either starting something next level together or i'm starting something else we're starting things different like on different paths this is either going to be a healthy, stable thing that will grow, develop, uh, increase, stabilize, or 
If it's not, that means it's become toxic, that means it's become stagnant, and it's going to get cut off. Okay, and that's just the bottom line. Crossing the veil, morning 37, there may have been a loss, there may have been a breakup, there may have been a separation, um, there may have been an ultimatum. And for others of you, it's just, again, it's this energy of, um, it is what it is. It is what it is. Like, if it, if we move forward, we move forward. If we don't, then it just needs to end. Someone's come to that place. Oh, and Forgotten Ghosts, Reunion, 24. Yeah, so someone could now be coming back. Uh, coming back to the table, coming back to the negotiation table um, after a loss, after an ending, after a break, after a pause, after an ultimatum that may have caused an argument in, and a loss. Um, and it's like, okay, let's, let's do this then, right? Let's do this. Let's turn that wheel together. Let's go to the next level together. Um, I'm not getting X energy for some of you. I suppose that could be how it applies, but I'm not necessarily getting that. I'm just getting this has been something that has recently uh, come to a breaking point. But up until that point, it was okay. It was, you know, you were going through the motions. You were doing everything you were supposed to be doing. You were patient with it. You invested in it. Um, and when it came down to, okay, let's make it official, someone faltered. And again, that's where the ultimatum happened, the breakup happened, the separation, the you taking your hands off and not pursuing it anymore happened. Um, that prompted the other person, the other party to go, okay, no, let's, all right, let's talk about it. I see you mean this. I see you're serious. I see you're ready to move on. I don't want that to happen. So I, I'm not, I don't feel like I'm ready, but at the same time, I don't want this to end. We have built something together. Let's, let's 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 do the thing right that's that kind of energy or if it's like within the company or whatever again you're like I, you may have quit you may have given your notice and then they're going okay Pisces let's talk about it we don't want to lose you right and if you haven't quit I feel like you're you've been drafting your notice and being ready to quit that's the that's the difference here you were ready to walk away from this because it's either healthy and it's going to grow. And if it's not going to grow, that means it's stagnant and it's going to turn toxic and it needs to be cut out. And you were fully ready. I mean, do you see the size, of, the size of that sword? You were fully ready to cut this out. So, interesting reading. Let me know how this resonates with you. Let me know how this uh, applies if it does. But yeah, it looks like it's it's moving for some of you it's definitely moving forward it's definitely reaching new heights you're definitely reaching new heights if it's a personal journey and for others of you you're going to have a choice to make we do have the lovers in the center of the reading meaning this thing that an ultimatum was issued reached breaking point whatever it is they may come back and try to talk to you and at the same time, something new is on the scene because you stepped away from this, because you stopped pursuing this other thing, right? Because it wasn't going anywhere, apparently. So now you have a choice. Do you go back to the old and take that to the next level? Or do you shift course and go with the new thing? And it'll be up to you to decide. Just make sure that whatever you're choosing is healthy, it's stable, it's got a future. That's what you're interested in. Okay, so Pisces, you let me know how you resonate with the reading if you do. I hope this helps you. I'm looking forward to your thoughts, looking forward to your comments. As always, hit that like button if you haven't already. Subscribe if you haven't already. If you want to become a member, click the join button. And thank you to my members. Thank you all for being here and for showing support. Um, I hope this helps you. Okay, I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.